so your mom doesn't hear because this is one thing you want to surprise her with for Mother's Day breakfast. This is so dog simple. Well, there I am with the dog simple thing again. I apologize to any dogs that take that personally, but I just mean it's so easy. A this is so cat simple. Anybody can do it, even a little kid. There's no knives, there's no cutting. Yes, there's an oven at the end, but then the little kids could have the, an adult do that. It's so great. We're gonna make the ring. Oh, you don't even know what we're making. We're making this blueberry ring out of, out of refrigerator biscuits, and then we're gonna turn it into a French toast. You, or whoever makes this for your mom, or who's ever mom, is gonna be one big fabulous hit. No swearing today. Right, boys? Right. right. I'm gonna keep this one clean because this is all about our moms. And we love them. Okay, let's put this together. We start with sugar. We add one thing to it. Cinnamon, ground cinnamon. I think that might be a cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup, maybe a tablespoon of cinnamon. Perfect, put that to the side. Now we need some lemon juice. We've got a couple lemons. We'll give them the roll to get them all juicy inside. We'll cut and we'll squeeze. You know, one might do it. We'll try it with that, we can always squeeze more. Now we butter our pan. And we're using a bunt pan. This is melted butter. And we brush. You want to do a really good job. You don't want this thing sticking because if it, because if it does, it'll be a bummer. Up the uh, center of this, what do you call this part? The, the what? The, the, the post? Sure. Sure. Give you a chance. All the way, all the way. All right. Next, our biscuits. You'd recognize these? Refrigerator biscuits. The best part of these for anyone, especially kids if they're going to make it, is you get to peel it and then hit it there and they bust open. You can just do it with your fingers, like that. Okay? I think it's three cans. There's five in this little can. Sorry. We should have a swear jar for today. One, two, three. We're good. Now we can start our construction project. Take a biscuit, quick dip in the lemon juice. I just forgot something very critical. <laughs> the blueberries. Oh yeah, what about them? I just forgot something critical. Okay, hang on. Jeez Louise. The most important, thing. The most important part. Oh my. So I forgot the important part. These are uh, frozen little baby blueberries. You don't need too many. You'll see, you'll see. Now, the biscuits that have been dipped in lemon juice and then in the cinnamon sugar, go in like that. We're just gonna stand them up. Lemon juice, cinnamon sugar, stand them up, stand them up. We're gonna get them closer than this, but it's easier just to sort of separate them at this point. You'll see, you will see. Beautiful. Just keep going till you're mostly full. Now we'll start to fill in a bit more. So three containers. Cause you know these guys are gonna expand pretty good, right? Tell you what, I'm gonna open one more can just to get a couple more holes. Perfect. Okay, everybody's good. I'm gonna do two things. This, this little extra butter is not gonna hurt going over the top. And just like to scatter just another few around. Stuff them in between if you want. It's all gonna be good no matter what happens. If you did nothing and only left them, they'd be fine. Okay, this guy's now ready. Oven's at 375, this goes in. Sorry. This goes in for 25 to 30 minutes. You'll see it when it comes out. And it's gonna be so pretty. And here we are. Look, it looks pretty, but it's not that exciting, is it? Boys. Not yet. But just wait. So you Could tell be me. More exciting. It's about to be. And here's how this goes down. We put something on top. We try not to burn ourselves. It's a little hot. We flip it over. And if we've been living right, 
and I believe we have, we turn it over and we have, oh, look at that, f***ing hell on top, sorry. Oh, the smell. What about no swearing, yeah. So where's the swear jar, where's the mommy swear jar? Look at that. Come on, buddy, let's give a little turn. Work that blueberry magic, look at you. Sexy. <laughs> So if you could smell what was going on, if you could smell what was coming up from this gorgeous breakfast blueberry ring, blueberry breakfast ring, I don't really have a good name for it, but you would be uh, insane. You would be insanely jealous. But let me show you how to serve it. Could you bring it out like this? Absolutely. But the addition of a little powdered sugar like this. Come on now. This is what it's all about. This is how you dress something up. Look at how pretty is that? You bring that into your mommy's bedroom. And I use the term mommy loosely. Doesn't have to be your actual mother. It could be your, you know, your mommy like you're somebody's poppy. Okay, weirdo, that's <laughs> enough. And we have to taste it. It's gorgeous. It's pretty as a picture. And you don't want to wreck a picture, but we're going to. So, from your benefit on that side, Maxi boy, they, they just pull apart. What? Look at this nonsense. Actually, here, Chancy, give me your little plate. Chancy, so have some. Thank you. Maxwell, would you like a piece? Yes, sir. Love this. I love this. And I shall have a little bite myself. And you know, because it's these, these flaky biscuits, you can just slow eat this. You could take an hour to pull this thing apart and eat it, but don't just take a bite like these two animals just did. Mmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. In bed, a cup of coffee, checking the status of your doge. This couldn't be better. Oh wait, it could. Eat it like this day one, put it in the fridge. Take it out of the fridge, let it warm up a bit, or take a piece and put it in the microwave for like 10 seconds and then we make French toast out of it like this. French toast 101 begins with, shoot, two eggs and no shell. Good job, Sam, good job. A little milk, we mix. And by the way, for regular French toast, I'd be putting cinnamon and sugar in this, but remember the biscuits were already dipped in that. Now we get a couple pieces, let them soak for a second. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Then we go to the flat top. All right, we start with some butter because we don't want anything to stick. And then we come in with these guys. And I made two more because I thought four of them would look amazing. I love them. I truly love them. Now we're just cooking French toast and you know what that means, don't you? That means I need a spatula. <laughs> and it's the rustic nature of the way these look that makes this so fun for me. So I think now we can start to think about Doing a little, look, that's what you want, right? Let's see this kid. Yeah. Look, you can always come back. There's no French toast rule that says one flip, that's all you get. Yikes. I had molten blueberry. I'm like, oh. If you're looking at this and you're thinking, wow, damn, that looks pretty good and simple, this would be the time to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done it. That tells us you like us, that gives us the confidence to keep going, keep growing, keep making more stuff we think you'll like. And while you're there, that little bell, if you give that a smash, all that does is puts our new episodes right in your email three times a week. Nothing else, no annoying letters, nothing, just episodes. And as we're fond of saying, when they are where you want them to be, let's take them off. We start with this kid, off they come, and we'll build them. Let's try and stack these kids up, shall we? Blueberry ring, Jenga. Like George Costanza, I've always wanted to be an architect. I'm not kidding. So let's do this. It's now that we've stacked them for God knows why. I mean, I always think a little extra butter. Don't you butter French toast? Yes. You don't. No, but I'm going to start buttering it. You syrup that. it. You syrup it? No, I don't want syrup here. Look at that. Do you see the glistening? Oh, for God's sakes, man. <whistles> Is right. 
I say, you guys, you guys butter your French toast, right? And Chance goes, no, but I'm going to start right now. If it's possible that this thing got better, it freaking got better. Might be the best French toast I've ever had. I'm not making that up. Holy S. Folks, make this for your mom. And if you don't have a mom, find somebody to make this for. Oh, what the heck? Just make it for you. It's so good. This is the way. Trust me on that. I'm out. Mm -mm. And before we end, just a happy Mother's Day to all the moms. And if you don't have a mom, like I don't have a mom anymore. She passed away in, uh, in December. Well, there's lots of love going out to them wherever they are. Happy Mother's Day, moms. We love you all. And we love you and miss you, Grandma.